My most rewarding moment actually happened last night at a gig. This gentleman who I'd never met came up and said he'd been to four weddings that I've DJed, and he said every time uh, he's impressed and I always do a great job. And after doing hundreds of these things, it's still always nice to get some affirmation that uh, you're still doing a good job. So the first one is definitely the big production gig I got to do with Doug from SLM Entertainment when he came down here to Ohio and we did that big homecoming. And then also the other one is the residency gig that I gained at the local bar in my college town at Pigskin. Um, I've been doing a lot of gigs there and it's a lot of fun. It's good practice time and 2017 has been amazing. My experience for 2017 would be a corporate event that I've been booking for the past 18 years. Uh, the company has grown from 100 employees now to 300 employees and they book me each year or each December for their holiday parties and uh, it's all built on trust so I, I love the fact that they book me and they just trust me and I trust them and it's kind of like a family so that's my best experience for 2017. Uh, doing a gig on Friday Christmas party brilliant absolute belter it was the best Christmas party of the 23 that we did um, to, to bolster that I had two brides come through from earlier in the year, come through to the room and say hi and tell me what a great time I did for their wedding, what great party they had. Um, and it was just great. It was just so, so lovely to see them. They're both lovely people and it was just such a great thing to happen. My most memorable gig for this year never occurred, but the highlight was something I'll never forget. You see, on April 29th, I was slated to DJ a high school prom. That prom never happened because an EF3 tornado came through and destroyed the venue where we were located. Fortunately, we were all huddled in interior rooms and everyone survived. But we had nine tornadoes in our county that evening. Four people lost their lives. The community was ravaged with destruction. But the highlight was getting to watch the community come together and help one another. It truly told me that the human spirit is alive and well today. Well, for mine, it was playing in front of a thousand people supporting Odyssey. Now, Odyssey were a band from the um, late 70s, early 80s, actually based in New York. However, many of them are current members that were members there. I'm not sure. But I supported Odyssey. It was a great privilege. A thousand people. My average crowd normally is between... 50 to 100, maximum I've ever played to before is about seven or 800. Brilliant concert, loved it, great stuff, nice to see you. It wasn't really my DJ side as much as it was the little selfie photo booth thing. We've got one of these little iPad photo booths and what happened was a grandmother was trying to connect with her grandchildren and she wasn't having a really good time with it during that kind of cocktail dinner time. And then I fired up the little selfie booth and it found, she found out that she could go and be silly and have some fun with her grandchildren. And it was really kind of a cool, about 15 to 20 minute bonding time between grandma and grandchildren there. And then throughout the night, they would come back up and do some more silly things. And it was just, you could see that it was a moment that she just incredibly treasured, that she was able to finally do something that the little ones were interested in doing and that she could do with them. And it could all be silly, all have fun. And she was sending these photos to her cell phone so she would have these as long-lasting memories. That I reached on my DJ YouTube channel 6,000 subscribers here in Germany. It was pretty nice and have a really nice community. And uh, we already give lots of tips and we also launched our new website Stage 223 and gives the German people lots of DJ tips and help. It's a toss-up this year between starting the video cave, which has been amazing, and this gig I did last summer where I played this deep disco set between ceremony and reception for cocktails and the two under 10 year old kids that were there. They were so cool, they were my little cheerleaders all night. The Memorial Balloon release, Brandon, 26, had died the day before, I was a member of this group I was doing a picnic for. As they released the balloons, I just instinctively played Love is Everywhere. Revival by the Allman Brothers. It was the perfect song for them while they grieved and hugged and cried. It was the power of music. I'll never forget that moment. The biggest one just happened. I've been posting little gig logs or little highlight reels of my Christmas parties and one of them kind of exploded. Somebody put best Christmas party ever and then underneath 
yeah, fantastic. Music, wonderful. Really good fun. Just great. Never been to a party like that before. That's what it's all about. Uh, my highlight of 2017 was definitely going to DJ Expo. We had the opportunity to meet Brian and Howie and MJ and Shaney and John and Dan and all the guys uh, that do a lot of the DJ and TV shows. And also uh, to be able to be there in person with all the folks that uh, support and I see on the forums all the time. So 2017, great year to network and meet people. And I want to wish everybody a very happy holiday, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. Being a member of the cave and being able to talk directly to you guys has been a huge uh, thing this year. As well as how much work I've gotten. Um, I, I can't pick out just one gig. There were so many. And the best is when a, a bride and groom hire you to do uh, other parties, other private parties. And I've gotten a lot of those. When I donated my time and energy for various charity organizations to raise funds for various causes um, as an entertainer, and I think it's important to put back into our communities, practice and enjoy. Best of luck in 2018, guys.